I woke up after passing out for so many days, it was also you who I saw first. Are you still going to thank me? Like a nightmare. The nightmare is over. You are about to die. Do you have any last words? For Shavi? Or your Mangenda? To Shavi, I suppose. You don't know anything about your Mangander. Why do you want me to come over? You weren't supposed to die here. If only you'd done exactly as I asked you in my text. Had a good night's sleep. Then come over to my place, wearing your new clothes tomorrow, at noon. Of course, you wouldn't have found me there. Because I would have been gone by then. According to my plans, tonight is the night that Hela will be born. But why did you come here, even after I told you not to? Don't mind me. All I really need are a few more minutes. I have a few more questions. Yes. When I met you for the first time, I felt like we'd met before. Why was that? Why can't I remember? I keep thinking about it constantly, but I remember nothing. I told you we grew up together as best friends. We've been classmates since forever. Neither of us had any other friends to speak of. When you think about it, we're the closest people in this world. It's not that I don't believe you. But I really struggle to remember. That's why I keep trying to recall it. I erased your memories. It's not good for you to remember me. Why... me? Because you carry Odin's mark. I don't know what led him to choose you. I watched you because I wanted to learn about Odin. <laughs> I really put a lot of effort into it, you know? I even tried to use my charms to seduce you. Oh, but you turned out to be completely uninterested, much to my disappointment. I wasn't too well versed in all things human back then, so I wasn't great at it. You have been learning about human behavior all this time? You know nothing about dragons. We, much like humans, are born into this world as innocent as children. Aren't you a god? You are so stubborn. Even a god, when he is first born into this world, is still like an innocent child, you know? So you needed to study... how to pretend to be human. Yes, I needed to observe closely someone who was laughing, to understand why they were laughing. And when someone was sad, I needed to remember how they looked, so I could do it too. Sometimes I got close to guys on purpose, in order to observe the desire they had for me, or love, as you would call it. After I collected and combined all that knowledge, I was able to create Shavi, a girl who had never existed in this world. I should have remained hidden for longer, then I wouldn't have had to sacrifice my brother. But my time is up now. It was also you, at the amusement park. Right? I guess I wanted to find out just how strong the strongest hybrid out there really is. If we could survive, it'll be easier for me to gain your trust. Because I suddenly changed my mind, of course. You displayed an ability to purify blood. So I figured I could shift the attention onto you. That way I could better conceal myself, and I was right. <laughs> hey! 
tell me you didn't think I saved you because I loved you or something like that. Sounds forbidden. Impossible. Right. Quite unlikely. <laughs> that would be sympathy. Sympathy? Yes. Are you done with your questions? Last question. Is Shavi in there right now? Yes, it's me, Shavi. Don't worry. You just had a bad dream. And everything scary in that dream simply wasn't real. I've been right by you all along. Just like the last time when you slept for ten days. Lord. <laughs> Don't sound as if I have consumed your girl already. Shavi is there. Go. I have left everything about her there. Dragon, the way he looks, the way he acts. If not for that, we would have all died inside that subway's Nibelungen. I wonder if Senpai regrets it now. I mean, he fell for that girl. <sighs> had it been you, would you have had the courage to stab the dragon girl? I keep getting the feeling that the senpai, the dragon girl, is still alive. Even though he never shows any feelings, and none of us knows what he thinks. Later he would use Fire Twister when he used Royal Fire, just like how he would use Windlord's Stare when he was with the dragon girl. Sometimes I envy senpai. I think the feeling is mutual between them. Wait, wait. I shouldn't envy him. That little gangster princess could turn out to be the Dragon Lord. I guess I'm just gonna go help out now. 